The Ender 3 Pro comes with the Meanwell power supply, which although a lot quieter than the original Ender 3, it still does produce a lot of noise when the fan turns on. I printed this fan shroud, which does help a little bit, but it still does produce quite a lot of noise. So today we're going to upgrade the fan to something larger and quieter. So this is a fairly simple upgrade. We're gonna change over to a 80 by 80 by 10 millimeter fan that I purchased off of Amazon. I'll provide all the links in the description, the link to the fan, along with the link to the case that you need to print from Thingiverse. Here's the fan cover that we're gonna print. It's made for the Ender 3 Pro, and it's a thin fan cover that will only work on the 80 by 80 by 10, and it's by Amtrax. And it's very simple to print, just one file. We'll print it in PLA at 0.2 layer height, 50% um, infill, and we will do supports touching the bill plate. Slice. We see that we get supports down here. This is perfect. You wanna have this section here supported. And that's it. All right, let's print. So here's the fan shroud. The fan shroud took about six hours to print. You wanna make sure you print this before you remove the power supply. I used the screws that came with the new fan to mount the fan in this direction. And it came with some nuts. The power supply runs on high voltage, so you wanna make sure that you are qualified and comfortable with this upgrade. And as always, make sure to unplug the power first. Once you have your power supply open, the first thing you want to do is check the voltage of the fan. You can see mine runs at 12 volts. Yours may run at 24 or 12, so important to double check this before you order your fan. So now we're going to compare the connectors and the connectors look identical. The only difference that I see here is that the original fan has the red wire on the outside, whereas the the fan from Amazon has the black wire on the outside, so we'll have to make sure to flip these two around. We see that the original fan has this heat protection on here, so I'll switch this over to the new fan as well. So all we have to do is take a flat screwdriver, push in this section here, which will allow the wires to come out. All right, now we'll do exactly the same thing on this side, on the new fan. All right, 
right, so the red wire was on the outside. All right, there we go. I've wrapped up the extra cable here with a zip tie. Make sure these bolts are nice and tight. We don't, we don't want one of these nuts to fall inside. And then double check that the fan spins without any interference. All right, there we go. We've now got our upgraded fan. Here's the final product. And you can see that the thickness is almost exactly the same as the extrusion. We want to pull some power from the power supply just to make sure that it does turn the fan on. So we'll just go ahead and we'll preheat the nozzle and the bed. And we'll just keep an eye on the fan and the expectation is that in a couple of minutes, this fan is gonna start spinning. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure to check out our playlist for more videos on the Ender 3 Pro.